check this out. It's pretty cool. Uh, somebody put or wrote this program. It's called Color Constructor, and it's something. I, I mean, it's funny because I just made a video on how to kind of make your own color palette in Photoshop, just using color theory and techniques. Um, then I saw this on Gumroad, and I was like, you yeah, know, I'll just buy it and check it out. Uh, it was for seven bucks. Uh, the link is in the description. So basically, it's uh, a way to set up different. Uh, lighting, uh, not lighting situations, but lighting color. So um, it does have different lighting situations. So here, on, I'll just explain it real quick, get to the point. You have um, individual spheres, uh, balls, that you can change the color of the same way you would in Photoshop. Like you can make this ball, um, you know, if you want to make it yellow, you'll do that. If you want to make it magenta, you bring the green down and uh, push the blue. If you want to make it, I don't know, sky blue, you'd push the red back and put the green up. Um, and you can make it less saturated and darker if you want to make it gray. Um, it's pretty cool. And there's also these swatches up here to just switch between um, pre-existing swatches. And so that's that's the, the fun part though is um, the fact that you can change the color of the light. So there's this light source coming from the top left and that's what this over here represents and you can uh, change that so if we want it to be uh, red light we just push these two back and it's really interesting because yeah that would happen if there's a red light shining on a blue uh, object and you can uh, and it also has ambient light so you can actually turn that off by just bringing it all the way down right and we talked I talked about this in my last video that um, you know the light will treat things differently so um, <clears throat> if we want the ambient light to be blue we can do that and then uh, see how that looks in that specific light situation um, and then we can even make the light white so this is what would happen in a pure white light source with a blue ambient and if we want the ambient to be white as well that's what happens. Um, so it's a fun way to like explore different uh, color combinations and what you can do I think is export a swatch um, and then use that later for your painting. Um, so let's let's make a cool color a couple of cool color palettes and see what happens. Um, I want this to have uh, uh, let's say um, magenta ambient no we'll go magenta so let's make the ball magenta because that's like pretty cool and then we'll make the main light source white and then the ambient light blue uh, <laughs> okay let's make it a bit darker full saturation yeah that's pretty cool uh, and you could change the intensity of uh, either the ambient or the main light source and it's like yeah you could turn the light down as if it's midnight oh that's pretty cool um and it's i think it's a good tool it's like an, a next step of uh exploring different color and yeah you could just you know take this swatch and, and make a whole painting out of it it's pretty awesome and then this uh, this a this slider up here that says H, it's hue shift, so it just kind of changes things for you. But you can manually um, uh, shift them. So let's make this green or cyan. So uh, that's what cyan would look if it was under these lighting conditions. Yeah, a lot of exploration here. Let's change this one. Uh, let's make it blue. Alright, now the ball is blue and the light source is white. Let's see what happens if the light source is red. Yeah, that's crazy. And you would never guess that, you know? You, uh, unless you have that in, in front of you. Let's, let's make the ambient light source red too. Wow. Yep. Yeah, because if you have all red light Anything blue is going to look just black. Uh, that's and it's that's pretty cool. Let's 
So, yeah. What if the ambient light was green? Okay, all right. What if the light source was green? I guess a blue, light blue blob would look green. All right. This is a really great tool to kind of test, test your own theories about what would happen in different lighting situations. Um, and it took me less than a minute to figure out how it works. Uh, it's really simple. I mean, you have these sliders to change the color of the ball. Let's make this yellow. Yeah, let's go with that. And a lot of the questions that I got about uh, color, like how do you figure out um, local color of things in different lighting? Well, this is your tool. This is pretty cool. Uh, ignore that. Um, so if we were to make one of this, one of these, a skin tone, let's say it's red and a little bit of, and it's going to be maybe something like that. You know, that's like light skin. And maybe if we turn down the light intensity. And what if what if the ambient was um, like sky blue? Um, let's make the light somehow sunlight. So that would be more red and green to make it orange. Huh, it's not acting the way I would expect, but it looks fun and stylized. Yeah, there we go, that, that looks more like it. So, I mean, you can use that. Um, let's. Maybe, what if we had darker skin? So if we, let's see, how do we do that? Less green, more green. Yeah, that that's pretty fun. I recommend this program. I think it's really cool to mess around, um, especially if you're if you learn programs pretty quickly. Uh, you have an opportunity to see how light works. All right, all right. There's my quick review. I'll keep messing around with it, and I'll get back to you. Uh, all right, links in the description, and check it out. Adios.